Hi again, this is George from Donzon.com, and uh, I wanted to pick up where we left off uh, last time. Uh, we were looking at uh, converting hiragana into kanji, and we did a couple of uh, uh, examples with the, using the numbers. And rather than using the buttons uh, for kanji convert or hitting F2, we did uh, we did them by um, almost a direct method by by using the shift key on the first uh, on the first keystroke and then um, letting the system give us a choice of different kanji to, uh, to convert. Anyway, uh, before we go on, just a little bit of house cleaning. I didn't uh, didn't show you this before, but Notice that uh, this says untitled one, and there's a little asterisk here, which means this has not been saved yet. So to save your file, uh, simply go in, say file, and we're going to say save as. And I have a directory here that I've made called JWTCE, and we'll call this uh, something like video lesson one real creative like that. And notice that the extension is JCE um, for J, uh, JWT uh, CE files. So JCE for the extension. Hit save and now it gives our, our path and file name there and there's no asterisk. So if I, if I add a space down here in my, in my file, I've changed the file and now the, the asterisk appears which says I need to we save this. So, anyway, um, okay. In this lesson, what I want to do is I want to look at five words that that are um, are common in in Asian thought, and they are the five elements of earth, air, fire, wood, and water. Well, we looked at wood already. The the, the moku or ki is um, is the word that means wood, but um, let me write those five elements out here. Or, um, and actually, I'm going to put them in a little different order because I want to do something with, uh, with, uh, with, with them. Anyway, so we have wood, which we've seen already, water, fire, earth, and metal. If anybody's ever <coughs> studied any acupuncture, they'll, they'll know that uh, some of the acupuncture points are, you know, water or fire points or metal points or earth points or whatever. Anyway, so uh, let's go back into kanji mode. Hit space. I'm going to hold shift. Hit M. Release the shift. OK U. All right. And so we've, we've got our wood that we saw before. Cool. Okay, water. Now, how do you say water? Well, you say water by saying mizu. So mizu, M-I-Z-U. Now, I typed it in on the keyboard, mizu, M-I-Z-U, and I got the M-I, or me, hiragana here, and then the su, su, Hiragana with the with the voicing mark, so it turns su into zu. Um, so mi zu, hit space, and lo and behold, there is the water character. And if you if you're not sure, what do you do? Well, you go up to to the character info button, or if you remember that it's control I, you can just hit control I, and you see that it means water. The more you use this, the, the more comfortable you become with, with the tools, and um, and you'll be able to do this. But I'm doing it real slow because because you may or may not have uh, have um, uh, remembered those. Okay, fire. Fire is he or ka. You could type in he or ka. He is uh, is is. Um, uh, one one way to say it, and I always remember the he. I was talking about uh, earlier about how do you remember the, the hiragana. I remember this one because it looks like somebody sticking their tongue out, laughing out loud, going he 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 he. 
Um, so that's how I remember. Kind of a silly way of remembering it, but hey, that's what I that's what I use. It works for me. So I hit uh, hit key and then hit the space bar, and I get that symbol there. And well, which one is it? Which one is it? Well, let's let's look at uh, uh, let's look at this one here to begin with. What does that one mean? Control I tells us that that one means day or sun or even Japan. Um, uh, this these, these two katakana here say Nichi, so Nichi means uh, Japan. Um, uh, there's a famous store here in, uh, in my area called Nichibei Busan, which uh, is the Japan America trading company. So Nichibei Busan, and um, so that's not the character we're looking for, though. The sun has lots of fire in it, but that's not the that's not the character for fire. It turns out that the one that really it started with right here is is the, is the fire character. Let's confirm that. With the control I, and there you go. It says fire. Okay, kind of looks like something on fire, doesn't it? You know, like that. Yeah. Okay, and it can be written as 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 he or ka. And uh, and by the way, uh, just you know, we could we could use ka. So I'm going to hit Shift K and then A. There's the hiragana for ka. If we hit the space bar. There's a whole bunch of you know, other characters for Ka, and uh, oh, there, there's, there's the fire character right there, right there. Okay, so, so we could do it in a bunch of different ways. All right, all right, Earth. Earth is G, so that is J I. And hit the space bar, and that is the the character for Earth. Let's just confirm that. Now it's picking the ones that are the correct ones because I did this this exercise earlier, and what it does is it, it chooses the last one that I that I picked. <clears throat> but it it could be you know if I if I hadn't done that. It could pick the first one right here. So this one, but it picked this one. What does this mean? Well, it means time or hour, as you see there. And uh, so G can mean time or hour. And so you know a good a good uh, a good Japanese phrase that you you should learn if you want to ask what time is it. You say nanji desu ka, nanji desu ka, and that that means what time is it? So if, you know if you're at work and you say, oh, nanji desu ka? You'll say, oh, time to get back to work. So that's 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 not that's not Earth. Uh, another one that's kind of interesting here. This one right next to it. This G means character, as in kanji, kanji, that uh, meaning Chinese characters. Okay, so uh, character or letter. So that's uh, that's another way to write G, but not the, the G for Earth. Um, so let's let's go back and select that one and make sure again that that means yes, it means ground or Earth. Okay, and I got this window by going Control I. Alrighty, now the next one, metal. Okay, so we've got earth, air, uh, I've got wood, water, fire, earth, and metal. Well, what is metal? Well, um, let's suppose for, the, for, for this exercise that we don't know what the word for metal is in Japanese. Well, one way we can, we can find out is we can type in this word in ASCII mode select it, and then go up and use that very useful tool, the dictionary. So I'm going to click on dictionary, or I could use F6 or Control-D, but I'm going to, I'll click on the button here. 
And the dictionary window pops up and shows us um, a bunch of different possibilities. Okay? So here we have this these two characters, which mean which are read keen seki. Keen seki. Uh, which means minerals and rocks, metal and stone utensils, or epigraph. Okay, so just looking at that, we don't know which one's which, which one's metal and, and which one's not metal. Okay, so let's go down to the next one. Uh, these two right here, uh, this says um, uh, Chokin, oh, excuse me, Chokin. We'll talk about that O in a in a later uh, episode here. Chokin. Uh, what does that mean? Well, that means metal carving or an engraving. So at this point, you may have a clue as to, oh, well, this character here looks like this character here. Uh, maybe, maybe that's the one we're looking for. Well, let's go on to a third possibility. And this one says, this one says, um, Kanagu. Kanagu. And uh, I, this means metal fittings or fixtures. And so we say, yeah, well, there's a commonality there. It's probably this character here, which um, Kana or Keen or Keen. Let's use Keen, K I N. Um, I'll close this. So over here, let's type in. Shift K, release the shift, I N, spacebar, and there's that same character that we saw in the in the dictionary. So what does that mean? Well, how do we how do we figure out what that means? Which which button or which thing do we use? Well, you might have forgotten, uh, but let's see. Um, which one do you think it might be? Did you say this one? That's right. The character info button or control I. I'll go ahead and press the button this time. And so that character comes up right there. And the meaning is gold. Gold. And it turns out that, that this character can mean gold or can mean metal. Uh, generically, can mean metal. So that is the correct one. So when we're looking at the five elements, we have wood, water, fire, earth, and metal. Okay? All right. Well, that's it for, uh, for this lesson, and uh, I'll see you on the next video.